What's up? What's up, y'all? What is up, Village? Happy Top Shelf Monday. You know, we got so much to talk about. Uh, Anthony did a great job with his conversation. Jeff did an amazing job with his conversation. You know, I had a conversation as well uh, with my family and my siblings. But let me get my brothers in here so we can have some Top Shelf conversation. One second, one second, one second. Hey, Ayana, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, George? Woo! Woo! What's good, brother? What's going on, King? What's up, King? How you doing? This is another day of being black. That's it. That's this it. Black Try Lives Matter. <laughs> Try not to get caught. <laughs> Try not to get caught. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, Anthony, you, you, yo, October came quick, didn't it? Son, it's like, bro. Yo, right. yo, 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 yo. yo. Yeah. What, what, what up, what up, what up, Jeff? What's good, good people? What's going on, Kings? What's up, Femi? I, I miss well. you guys, Femi, man. What's up, bro? What's up, sis? What's up, George? What's up, Ayana? There we go, what's there we go, on? there we go. Come on what's in, What's going family. on, Kings? Come through, goes. come through. We have some top shelf conversation that needs to be had. Yes, sir. Just know that. Um, um, first and foremost, before we start anything, I want to salute my brothers. Uh, an excellent job on the live, guys. Like uh, with y'all lives, Anthony. I love your conversation. Uh, the state of emergency on our black boys. It was an amazing conversation. Okay. Man, I had so many notes. Took so many notes and. And Jeff, Excellent your conversation, combo. how to be a Christian, man. Like, like, I mean, not how to be a Christian, but like the things that Christians go through, bro, with Christians with, in 2022. Uh, had, what'd you say? Christians in 2022. Yeah, man. I I was like, yo, I, I had to sit back and listen to that joint. I was like, yo, let, let me let me let me see if I'm doing this right. You know <laughs> <laughs> let me make sure. <laughs> but yo, yours is, this, yours is you know? good too. Yours is good too. The one you had with your with your sisters. Yeah. That was a beautiful conversation. I loved it, man. That was that was really really good. It's like I saw a different side that yeah. I didn't see before, man. That, that that was good. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. So one thing, the one thing I'm honored that you guys like, because there's sometimes a sibling rivalry and like people go crazy, but mm -hmm. you guys keep it together and it's such mm -hmm. an organic conversation. So mm -hmm. give me your flowers too, bro. Thank you. Much appreciated, man. And shout out to, shout out. Can y'all shout out the people on y'all lives? Because I'm about to shout out mine. I want to shout out my sisters, Shante and Cordelia. Thank you so much for uh, holding us down, Top Shelf Facts. Productions. We really appreciate you uh, for coming on. Uh, and you Thank guys you. did an excellent job. Yo, y'all want to shout out the people on y'all lives? Yeah, man. Shout out to um, Reverend Minister Sam. Um, you know, I really appreciate her. Uh, shout out to Nicole as well mm -hmm. for joining in. She has her own podcast as well. Um, and then, yo, shout out to, you know, who's always a guest on, on our um, on our platform, Pastor Josh as well. That's good. That's good. Anthony? So I just want to shout out my bro, Matt. Um, definitely epic. Um, and Dale, they came with an amazing energy of gems, experience, transparency. Mm -hmm. um, it was just a black a black conversation that we need in our environment at this moment. And I mm -hmm. really hope and pray that it changed lives. That's one thing that I, that, that was so remarkable um, of that conversation last week. Right. We, so we talked about, it, it's, it's so great. We talked about our current, current okay. situation. We talked about faith and we talked about family. Oh, that's so true. great. So, but the biggest of these is faith. Let's let's talk about <laughs> this prayer that we gotta do. Let's do it, man. Because <laughs> y'all know it's it top it. shelf without that prayer first. That's that's right. Right. And I'm and I want to pray. I actually want to pray today. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? I, I, the rain got me feeling some type of way. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> God, I just want to say thank you so much for allowing me and my brothers to get together once again. This podcast would not be nothing if you weren't a part of it, God. We thank you so much for all the guests that we've been able to have. We thank you so much um, that we've been able to accomplish what we've been able to accomplish. Every episode, you have been with us 
uh, in the midst, Lord God. And we thank you so much for this episode. Um, and we pray we don't offend anybody. Thank you for all the listeners, all the uh, parts of our village. As they listen, God, that they will be entertained, encouraged, and inspired. And uh, we thank you so much for this platform. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, Amen. brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're doing it. So uh, so how's, uh, how's Monday so far with this weather with y'all? How y'all feeling? I know, Jeff, you work from home. Anthony, you work mm -hmm. outside. What, what, what's not like, I do too, so now I'm, I'm back at it. I'm back. I'm transitioning back in the office. You work. You work outside too. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm back. I'm back outside. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy. <laughs> I think I got spoiled. But uh, how's this Monday for y'all? Uh, my Monday's been going good. I mean, the weather is terrible. It really yeah. is. But outside of that, like it's. I had. I only stepped out once, really, just to go get some um, groceries after work. But that's, you know, it's been a typical Monday. Listen, I, I'm i good. My Monday's been good. Not bad. That's it. Uh, Anthony, how, how how you been dealing with this this weather? Has, has it, has it, has it worn, is it wearing on you? You know, this type of weather is cuddling weather, so I'm going to get ready to cuddle after this. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, hey, look, that's that, just that locked up. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm so, kind of with my wife. I like this weather. You know I what I'm like, saying? Honey. <laughs> and, and, I got said, the one wish. <laughs> Anthony said, the big boys benefit. You know? <laughs> it's a big boy weather, though. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's so funny, yo. Me and wifey was just cuddling before we came through on the live. I was like, I was like, I like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's cold outside. You got a reason. <laughs> you definitely got a reason. Like, man, I'm just saying, we're going to wait uh, for our brother uh, Jeff to come back. I'm pretty sure, like, he probably having uh, some technical difficulties or something like that. But uh, I'm going to try to get him back to in here. Right. I'm going to invite him back. No um, No, I mean, you know what's so funny that I've always noticed, like, when certain weather happens outside, it's people's really emotions good. tend to shift. You notice that? Definitely. And, like, like, for like, example, when it mm -hmm. get hot, you know, when people get hot, you know, don't go outside in Brooklyn. You it's, know? It's a got you season, if exactly. you know what I mean. Exactly. Let me tell you, you better watch out. And I'm like, if, it, a, if it's... A lot of breakups happen before the summer. <laughs> let me tell you. A lot of breakups. And then, and, and, then, and then there's people just standing out like, wait. Is there anybody left? <laughs> <laughs> and then winters when you see a lot of pregnancy. <laughs> that, look, no, I ain't gonna look. I ain't gonna say too much, but I but but don't it, tell it, it nobody. Be, yeah, Yo, yeah look. How you feel about Kanye? I know Jeff. Jeff is somewhere in the world, but how you feel about Kanye? What's going on with Kanye, bro? Right now, you uh. So the last thing I've I've been able to see with Kanye has been um. He was talking about his brand, uh, and he was talking about something with uh, that happened with. Uh, he's leaving Adidas, I think, or, or Gap, yeah, the Gap, yeah. the Gap, right? Uh, last thing I saw was that he's like not dealing with the Gap anymore because of just you know what what he's felt about dealing with uh, certain you know big conglomerates, corporate conglomerates, and how they how they treat him. And yeah. and I understand it. Um, and I think Kanye's getting to that point in his life because he's in his like late mid to late forties. Yeah. He's getting to that point in in his life that he's just he's setting up uh, a legacy for his family. I feel, and I feel like he wants to. There's a certain he he's hit that status, but he doesn't feel like he's there yet. It's so crazy, right? And, like to get to a point like I'm a billionaire. Yeah. I have this brand that's world wide known. I'm the first like rapper to have like a shoe that is selling out crazy, like not even selling out crazy, but it's it's literally a worldwide brand. Wow. And, and then, but at the same time, I still have, you know, that 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 personality. Yeah. You know, who I am. I think you talked about legacy, and I was thinking about the conversation or what I've been seeing that's, that's been going viral of like a shirt that he had on with him and Candace Owen. 
and it said White Lives Matter. Uh, I don't think you've seen this yet. Um, no. But it's all over the internet. Um, maybe you was cuddling so much that you didn't know that the world was happening. <laughs> Cuddled out. <laughs> so I, I, I bring up this conversation because I'm like, wow. Like you're using your platform. And remember, way back, like in like around 2000, when he said, um, George Bush doesn't care black, about black people. Right. Like I asked myself today, it's like, damn, what happened to that guy to mm -hmm. now? So let me get this straight. And he had a shirt that said uh, White Lives Matter on? Correct. Oh my gosh. You know what it is? I feel like it, I feel like we live in such a time yeah. where it's like people are trying to it, it's a mental thing. I feel like it's really a mental thing. And um if, if you guys are just coming in here, we're talking about uh the Kanye um thing that happened where he was wearing he's wearing a shirt that says White Lives Matter. And this is like our second time talking about Kanye. And I really, the thing I really feel is that like mental health is really, it's not that it's just a huge thing that we talk about and that we're cognizant about now. It's, it really matters. Mental health yeah. really matters. And there's been so much trauma in our, in the black community from everything that we've went through and that we're still going through and mm -hmm. trying to process that he doesn't realize the ramifications of the things that he's saying into the public. It's not like I look at Kanye as a philosopher or anything like that, but he's a person of status that I look at and I'm like, yo, I love college dropout. I love late registration. I love graduation. Um, I, I love these albums. Uh, I Even even uh, 808's Heartbreak, mm -hmm. I was a huge fan of. It's, it's, it's a hard thing to kind of like, uh, like, bruh, I, 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 if I could be in the same room with Kanye, I would give him a hug, man. And I would just tell him, like, yo, bro, I understand and I get it. I don't have your problems. Mm -hmm. I, I understand and I get it, but we, but I hurt like you. I do hurt like you and my heart bleeds for you, you know, because I understand as being a black man, there's so many, so much pressure put on you and not even you B and B, you a black billionaire. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can only imagine all of the decisions each day he has to make. Now, that doesn't excuse the fact that he said, like, white lives matter. We don't, the thing is, we, when we say black lives matter, and we know this, mm -hmm. like, period, in our community, when we say black lives matter, we don't say, it's not set to say that white lives do not, or other lives do not, brown lives don't matter, or all these okay. other lives do not. No, they do matter. We just saying we matter too. Like, put it like we're in the conversation. Like, these things are happening. It was a statement that yeah. black men are dying at the hand of police. Black men and black women are dying at the hand of police every single day, every single day. So when somebody jumps into the conversation, I'm like, well, blue lives matter too, and white lives matter too. And I'm like, bro, we can we have a movement, the civil rights movement. You know, we started, and it was about voting. But we wanted, we just wanted that right. We wanted yeah. the, we wanted civil rights. You know, the civil. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, you, 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 you made some great points, and I, I just want to add on to what you're saying. I think in this conversation as well. I want to be able to say, okay, when you get to a certain level of life mm -hmm. um, and you get to a certain conversation, don't worry, you had a Metro PC phone, Jeff. But anyways. <laughs> <You> <laughs> a Metro PC? <laughs> he had that in the top. No. So, so Anthony, Anthony feels himself now because he, up, he upgraded his phone to He upgraded, baby, upgraded. He, 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 he went from his iPhone 3 to iPhone 14. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to, no, my phone shut down, man. That no iOS worries, no worries. I'm, I'm gonna have to do like Anthony Minute up, upgrade my phone. That was weird. <laughs> Anthony what up. Was that was. I didn't even and then I couldn't. Yeah, it just shut down, man. It just started updating. 
So yo, yo, we just talking. What's good, cuz? What's good, bro? Yo, we just giving like two minutes on this on about Kanye in regards of what the um I don't know well, if it was like really viral. I, 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 I don't even want. I don't even want. I don't even want to even give it any any light, man. I I know, and I just want. That's why I say just two minutes. Um, I, I my, 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 my my thirty second is like at the end of the day when you get to a celebrity status, and this is what you want. At the end of the day, you have to realize, hey, yes, like your cousin said, he is a genius. Mm -hmm. In the same perspective, you're a brand. You represent yeah. a culture. Um, LeBron represents a culture. Michael Jordan represents a culture. Yes, there are not any gods. I want to put it out there. But in the same perspective, you have a representation. Um, and it, this is what you you got to that level, and now this is what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. So you on broad daylight or wherever you are, and you mm -hmm. have that shirt, it's like, come on, man. So yeah. I, just like, I just want 30 more seconds. Just pray for him. At, at this mm -hmm. moment, Kanye is gonna be Kanye. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. just pray for him. Anyways, um, so we talked about tonight, guys. <laughs> I ain't got I love it. What's that, up, BW counselor? So yeah, as you know, welcome back, Jeff. Uh, uh, fast the flex. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I ain't got time for that, man. I ain't got time for that, man. Yo, too um, many. So I, 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 the only thing I'm gonna say is this: people make too many excuses for Kanye. Let's move forward. That's it. No, it's just, it's, 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 it's just that simple, man. Valid. 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 Um, anyway. Definitely, but in the same perspective, we gotta be able to have these type of. What's up, Mary Linda? Because it's okay. not. It's, anyways, a, a, anyways. I'm just so saying. Talk about bro. What we talk about, bro. <laughs> I I don't want I don't want to talk about Kanye mm -hmm. because what he does he's doing what exactly what is going on right now. He wants us to talk about him, and mm -hmm. it's it's what I was reading this book. I'm reading this book right now called. Um, by C.S. Lewis, right? He's a What's Christian called? author. Uh, Mere Christianity. Yes, I so read that. Really it's a good. Really, 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 really good. Really, really good. Really, really good book, right? So I'm in the middle mm -hmm. of it right now, and one of the chapters talk about is talk about pride, and he goes really in depth about pride, and like he talks about like how pride, out of all the sins, that's probably one of the most detrim detrimental ones, Look, because he because he and referred to like that was a downfall of Satan. It was remember he was say was one of God's angels, but it was pride. Pride is what got him, and mm -hmm. so I feel like with Kanye and not only Kanye but just a lot of these celebrities, people and just in general, it's a pride thing, it's an ego thing, mm -hmm. and it was go to the extent because it's like they always got to feel like they're bigger than life or bigger than the next person. And for yeah. me, it's like the more we give attention, we feed into their pride, and that's why for me it's like. When it comes to like Kanye West um, tantics or um, AB or or any of these celebrities that's just doing foolishness and it's like people just make these excuses behind it, you feed into their pride and it's like, yo, yeah. nah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, yeah. why, 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 why should, to me, there's more important things to talk about because at the end of the day, they know what they're doing and it's just that we get wrapped up around it and we idolize these people like they are gods. Anthony said they're not gods, but people idolize them like they are gods because they worship them. They make excuses behind it. They, you know, all these different things. And yes, Kanye's a genius. I'm not taking what his genius level of, as far as his talent, but he has he has issues. He is human, and he has his flaws. And those things need to be called out on. It's not about one of the things that C.S. Lewis said in that book. He was like, which I love how you pointed this out. He was like, never, don't hate on the person, but hate on the sin that they're committing, right? Absolutely. So, which means you still love on the individual, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that you don't call out the, their wrongdoing. I think that's the part that people get um, mixed up and, and, and misinterpret. You can still love on the person, pray on the person, which Anthony said, yes, pray on, pray for Kanye, whatever, but it doesn't mean that you cannot call out their behavior because their behavior is still behavior. When you don't try and, 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 and to, counsel or mm -hmm. to or, or just make excuses behind bad behavior the bad behavior will continue because they feed off of that again it's pride Absolutely. so i'm gonna Absolutely. leave it like that i'd rather let's move forward and let's talk about what we talk about okay so today we have it is two topic monday we, we switching it up we're doing something different so usually it, uh if y'all just coming in here we usually do one topic and we dissect it 
and Pride we double facts. We talk, we talk about it, and we we flesh it out and try to find a, a solution somewhere within that within that topic. It's just a, or we just have a conversation, have fun with it, and it goes where it goes. But today we wanted to dissect two different topics. So to start the ball and to get it rolling, we wanted to talk about dating in the workplace. Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Are there pros? Are there cons? What's mm. what's the thoughts, fellas? And, um, chat, feel free, village, feel free to chime in. Is dating in the workplace a good idea? Jeff got a story right now. I, I, I don't. I'm just doing the Birdman hand rub, just because. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I don't. I don't. Not that I could think of the top of my head, but to to answer your question, my personal opinion, I feel it's very risky to date in the workplace. Um, and the reason why I say that is because you don't eat where you shit. Excuse my language. I know I normally don't curse. All right. And the reason the reason why is because if that goes sour, right? Let's mm -hmm. say you start dating somebody, meet somebody at at the workplace, and you know you guys are going out, having a good time enjoy each other's company, and then it goes left for whatever reason. You still got to go into work and see that person, mm -hmm. and it's just like an awkward environment. You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like I, I personally don't agree with it. I'm not right. saying that there hasn't been temptations in the past or there haven't been women that I've been attracted to mm -hmm. uh, when I was single, keyword when I was single, because I just want to put that out there because people try to roll with what I say. Um, right. Um, where yeah, it's like, man, you know, I wouldn't mind, but for me, I look at it as like, man, if it goes left for whatever reason, it doesn't work out. I still got to come into work. I still got to clock into that nine to five and still see that individual and vice versa. And mm -hmm. it's just like, it's, it's, it's just not, um, it's just not worth it. Actually, I do have a story, but I'm, I'm not going to get into that right now, but go ahead. And what's, what's your thoughts, bro? Nah, uh, I think it's cool. Um, it depends on the individual. It depends on the person. Um, at the same Unless time, it could be, at, no, like at the it could be a remote. Um, and also, what's the difference between a workplace and the church? So it's just an environment that you shift or change. So you could use that same example that you use, Jeff, at the church. That's a good point. I mean, that's, 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 actually, that's, that's, that's a good point. That's valid. That's yeah, valid. very valid. I like that. I think for me, like, uh, I would, I would say it just depends. What's up, Lionel? It really depends on the on the uh, situation. Because when you say dating in the workplace, that's broad, right? Because what if it's your manager? If it's your boss, that is conflict of interest. You know, mm -hmm. if it's your coworker, then it's just like you and they or they set a rule and say that, hey, we advise you guys not to date. Then now you got to find like kind of ways around it without everybody being in your business and, and trying not to get fired. Like I know <clears throat> um, right off rip, there's a friend of mine um, um, right off rip. She told me a story about, <clears throat> excuse me. She's told me a story about she dated in workplace before and her and the guy wind up getting fired like from the workplace and they were like two of the highest sellers in their region. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, but they wound up getting fired because they thought that uh, the boss, I guess uh, the manager thought that they were helping each other in some type of way. So it was a conflict yeah. of interest and they got fired, you know? Mm. So it can be disastrous, but it can, it can be good as well. Like you could, some jobs be, are against that. Cause because sometimes I, I've met people that have great stories. I've met people that have said, like, yo, I met my wife at work, and we just start going on little lunch dates, and then all of a sudden we wound up getting married. I left the, get, I left the company and went somewhere else, or she left the company, and it worked out, you know? It just depends on the situation. Like, I agree with you, Jeff. Like, it does depend on the situation, you know? Yeah, man, it, it, it's, it's, it's tricky because, you know, there are some jobs where – it's against their past, like in sports, especially. I mean, we all know about the whole yeah. Udoka situation. But Absolutely. in in, in, certain, in some companies or in some jobs, especially in the sport, sports um, industry, mm -hmm. you can't, like, the cheerleaders cannot date the players. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, an NFL player cannot date a cheerleader and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's, 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 it's against the um, National Football League policy. Now, and it's the same thing for the NBA. 
Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's, it's, it's tricky. And for me, it, I just look at it this way that it's, it is easy to meet somebody at work or even at church. Like the example that um, Anthony gave, Anthony must be really um, into something, whatever he's doing right now. But anyways, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's, Anthony yeah, troubles you. <laughs> he's troubles you right now. He's making sure his phone don't, don't end up um, crashing out as well. He's doing tech yeah. support. I love what Opal Lens 15 said. Real quick, Jeff. What's she up, said, The company rules make the difference. That's true. Yeah, it, yeah, it, 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 it definitely does. I would say this. If, any, if anybody's interested in dating somebody in the workplace or where they work at, I would say, you know, just, um, you know, just, just, just make sure that the person that you are interested in, one, is, is interested in you. Because the mm -hmm. other thing, too, you got to be careful of, and I, and, um, there was a place that I worked at um, where I seen this, it, it flipped completely around where there was a guy and a girl they were dating, or they went out on a few dates, right? And for whatever reason, it didn't work out, right? But the guy still wanted to pursue, he still wanted to pursue her, mm -hmm. but she was not interested, right? And she went to HR and basically was saying he was sexually harassing her. Well, you know, sexual harassment, it goes into, it can go into in many different directions. It doesn't have to be sexual or something sexual happen. It could just be the guy just complimenting her or, or whatever. Anything that makes her feel, he or she, uh, uncomfortable, mm -hmm. it could fall under that umbrella. Yeah. And that's what happened. And they had to call him into HR, and then they got exposed that they actually went out a few times. They went and got drinks and mm -hmm. all this other stuff. And it, it turns this whole big thing and. You know, unfortunately, the guy lost his job. She still stayed, but he lost his job. And, mm. you know, and during that time, we all felt that, you know, he just really liked it. We didn't think he was trying to, that's, that, that's not the energy that he was trying to put out there. Mm -hmm. But then again, who's, who are we to say how this person should feel? You know what I'm saying? And when I'm speaking as far as with her on the receiving end, because maybe she really was uncomfortable. So I yeah. would just say, like, you know, just you know, make sure that it's mutual. And if it does not work out, you know, hopefully, you know, both people are mature enough to kind of go their separate ways and still keep it professional under the um, their work environment. The thing is, like, I, I, that I feel like is there's always room for a misunderstanding. Like, in, in, in the messed up part is, it's like, let's say if you were working somewhere, right, you're a single guy and That's you work around a lot of women. There we go. You know, if you're a single yeah. guy, you work around a lot of women and, you know, because you're a nice person, you know, just being who you are, you know, you can be talking to somebody, joking around with somebody, go, you know, go to another woman and talk, joke, whatever. And there could be multiple people, like women, and, or it could be men. You can switch it around and be men and, and, and a lot of, it could be one woman in the situation. She could be like yeah. the only woman and every dude want to like talk to her. Mm -hmm. and, and and she feels uncomfortable because that's not where her head at. She's just trying to create a good rapport, you know, with her coworkers. Like she's not touchy feely and doing all of that stuff. The man isn't either, but it's just like their, you know, expectations, expectations versus the reality. Like like a lot of girl, a lot of women will build a fantasy. A lot of guys will build up like something in their mind. Like yeah. I, we went on a date the other day and it could have just been lunch. Like, Hey, I don't want to eat lunch alone. Let's go over here and get lunch. Right. Yep. That's very true. That's what I'm saying. And and when you add work on top of that, it's a whole nother level because there's stress at work. And then it's just like, now you're dealing with that, you know, the other part of that, like, Oh, now I'm dealing with like, does she like me or mm -hmm. like is she playing? Why is she eating lunch over there with him? You know? Mm -hmm. And it, you know, it's one of those things. But I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to be. What's up, Gertie? Uh, I don't want to be just. What's negative up, Gertie? Because sometimes it can it can turn out great. It can be yeah, like, yo, I definitely. met this girl at work, and she's the bomb. Dot com. Like once, uh, when I was single, there was one uh, uh, coworker that I was interested in, and I was just like, but there was just like one thing that I just could not get over. I thought about it, but I was just like, when I found out, like, uh, we weren't the same faith. Like, I'm a Christian and she was Muslim. Mm, so, okay. so I was just like, that just wouldn't work. Like, cause there's just going to be a time where I'm like, I'm going to church and then you going to, you know, mosque and whatever. Um, and, and I'm just like, it just, we're going to be arguing. I, I just know it. 
So I, I just didn't make that choice. But I'm not saying people of different faiths can't work. It can, it can work, but I mean, <laughs> the word is clear. That's all I got to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you guys know anybody who actually met at work and got married? Or and it became like a very successful relationship? I'm trying to think. Um uh, I, I not, nobody comes up right now, but I can tell you straight up rip, there are friends that there are people that I have had that uh were coworkers that became really, really good friends of yeah. mine. Like and I'm still friends with to this day. Like shout out to my homie Jose. Uh I'm still What's friends up, with him to to, to to this day because we worked at a, a job when I was working for HBO like uh he he was a security security guard for the job and uh with oh yeah and big ant big ant like I know him from HBO as well so we're still friends to this day how about you and you know anybody that actually met and uh through work and they end up having like a successful successful relationship or marriage nah I don't know anybody mm. yeah well, I know one, I know one person one person, uh, my sister, sister and husband, they actually met at work. Oh, they really? work at, yeah, they met at AAA. They both worked at AAA at the time. And <laughs> they've been married for 19 Rick? years. Yeah, Rick, yeah. <laughs> I like Rick, Rick man. and Steph, man. 19 Rick is years hilarious. now. Is it 19 years? Yeah, wow. 19 years. Next year, wow. make it 20 years of marriage. Oh, so I somebody. I think my, so, my yeah, brother. My brother. Oh, your brother? Well, they're not, they're not married, of course, yet, but they're dating. Like, they're he's dating. dating. And so, but they didn't, like, work, work together, but they work at different, um, yeah, uh, at different stores. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. so, right. yeah, so they're so, dating. I mean, we'll, see. we'll see. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the, the possibility is, is, is there. It definitely is. Like I said, I just gave one example, even though, like I said, it's not something that I would do. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I can't do it now because I'm, Happily married. Um, shout out to my taco drop. Um, but <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, there really was going on. Sorry, if 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 I wasn't right, if I wasn't again, I don't know if something I would because of that. Like, if it doesn't work out, to me, it was just depending. You know how it ended. Again, it could be kind of like awkward. You know what I'm saying? And you know, to me, it's like at work, certain things that I kind of just rather just keep it just work. Outside mm -hmm. of work, kind of just keep it just outside of work. Could, so. could, let me ask y'all, could y'all work with y'all spouses? No, nah, I, I wouldn't. Owning mm -hmm. a business, yes, but I'll put it this way. Um, same company, yes, different department. Okay. Because I, I do I believe and, and I do like having, your, you know, that, that time apart from each other. Because then when you guys see each other, when you guys come home with each other, and it's like, right. you know, it, it's it's just a different feeling. But now it's like you're waking up. Just imagine mm -hmm. you you and your wife or you, you know, or husband, um, you and your spouse, basically. You guys work at the same job, same company, work the same hours. So you guys get up the same time, going to work, Monday through Friday, where your work schedule is, and coming home. You guys are literally with each other 24-7. Right. You know literally. what I'm saying? And for me, I feel like that could be a lot in, 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 in some ways. So I feel like it, it's kind of better, you know, in, in, in a way like where you guys are kind of going your separate ways when you guys are going to work and when you guys come together, you know, it's like, it, it's, it's, I missed you. I miss you. You guys don't have time to miss each other, basically, is what I'm saying. Because you're literally with that person all the time. You know what I'm saying? So if you work with that person, when do you have time to miss your spouse? Never. True. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, Anthony, could you work with Janelle? Definitely not. Uh, we need space. <laughs> we work very, we work very well when we have space. Um, and to see to her. Anthony, like no, 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 no. Uh, but <laughs> I thought you would say of, yes. I actually thought you would say yes. I don't know why. But, uh, but in terms of business, because we are both community um, activists um, for a community, like an event, I could definitely see us working together. But oh. like work, nah. Is okay. it because you guys have two different work styles? You think that's what the what it what it is, or not necessarily, or is it nah, really I, more of? I, I just like my. I, I just like when I'm at work. I know for me, it's not responsibility because I'm. A, I'm gonna think about like what is my wife doing? Does she have lunch? All of those things are in my, mm. my process. Yeah, um, that's a good I point. Want, that's good. Yeah, I don't want to 
because I know how I how I work. So I don't want to compartmentalize where it's like in addition to my my job as well. Okay. Right. Um. I. Um. I don't think I could. I, I like I I I don't think because I think we are both. Be careful now. <laughs> no, no, no. Honestly, the real thing is, is like Sabina's, yo, Sabina says, gonna pop up like right behind you. Like. <laughs> the, the, the funny thing is, it's like you know how you, you guys, y'all wives are are good at what they do, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Like your wife, Jeff, is she's an amazing, amazing HR, and uh, uh, Anthony, your wife is an amazing therapist. You know, same thing. My wife is an amazing, amazing at what she does with, um, you know, makeup. You know, and so she's such a captain and such a boss of her industry. I would not want to get in the middle of that. When I see her wo- working and focused, like I'm, I'm just like I'm like I want her to be. I want to give her space to do her thing. I want yeah. her to have her bubble, and I want to have mine to do yeah. my thing. Because it's just it 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 becomes it kind of clashes sometimes. Because yeah. it's like like say if you in a meeting, right? Yeah, you, you be in a meeting. That. Anthony be in a meeting and be like, yeah, yeah. So I just want to make a point, and then. Janelle come over and be like, <laughs> oh, I would think about like, vice versa. I would think about vice versa. Well, what if you're making a great point and then she's like, my wife is like, oh, you know what? I understand your point, but I think we should go this direction. I'm like, wait, <laughs> babe, what's going to be on my side? <laughs> There's a clash. Like, oh, There's we're going to talk about this later. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it's like, oh, the point. I, I feel some type of way. I'm like, who taking you home now? <laughs> and, you, and you know that's the other, you know that's the other thing too. It's like, just imagine that you guys got into an argument on the way to work. You know that's gonna carry when you wow. get into the work building. Yeah. So like- so yeah. So that's so that's that's the other thing too. You know what I'm saying? It's like whatever that's going on in the home that will yeah. also most likely carry on into that work environment, man. Exactly. So, yeah. Then, so you imagine, guys imagine getting imagine get okay getting get to work with your wife. Y'all already got into an argument, and then y'all gotta get on Microsoft Teams meeting <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and act like and ain't nothing happening. Y'all working on the same project. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, there's, there's gonna be there's gonna be shots being thrown. Yo, it'd be like it'd be like <laughs> Anthony be like <laughs> or Jeff Jeff be like Jeff be like oh that that was a great point oh <laughs> don't be like. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, was it? Was it, Jay? Yep. <laughs> or Joy's, or it'll be like, you know, yeah, Joy will be like, yeah, so I'm going to make sure I, I, I get this project done. That's not a problem. I'll have it by you by Monday. And I'll be like, yeah, at least you're on time for something because she always oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, it'll be, it'll be shots like that. You know what I'm saying? It'll be shots like that will be going on. It'll just keep going. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think tension builds like that. You and now you make it awkward yeah. for other people now. You do. Yeah, because think about it. Think about it. Uh, it's so funny. Louvenier mentioned that episode, like, when Gina came to work for Martin's talk show. Oh, that yeah, was an yeah, yeah. That was, that I was remember a, that. That was a hilarious episode. And, and then because you make the environment so bad in the workplace, mm-hmm. the boss has to fire one of you. But he, had to, he or she has to actually ask who's more mm-hmm. valuable. And then if, <laughs> if, <laughs> if the wife gets fired... If the wife get fired, she don't be like, if I leave, you leave too. Exactly. You like, um, so babe, they just gave me a raise. They just gave me a promotion. They just gave me a promotion. They just like, gave me a promotion. Wait, they fired you? What? Or, 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 or just imagine that your spouse's boss is an opposite sex, right? And they're showing her favoritism. Ooh. Or the other way around. So imagine you have a female, a, a female director, right? A woman who's a, a director. And she's like, hey, Anthony. How's it going? Hey, Fred. How was your weekend? And your spouse is like right there looking. It's like... like I like your haircut, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's like, you ain't got no hair. <laughs> you ain't got no hair. No, no yeah. but that's the good... No, but, but Jeff, that's the point. That's exactly. The point. Exactly. Anything. Exactly. <laughs> She's like, I like your haircut. You'll be like... Mm. Like wow, <laughs> Fred, Fred, good job, good job on that report, Fred. It was really good. Thank you. I'll be like, <laughs> your wife, your wife, your wife would be like, so you gonna say something? <laughs> <laughs> like, or, 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 or she see you walking out her office. Oh my god! 
and y'all smiling and laughing and, and kicking. Smiling, kicking, 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 smiling, friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I go for lunch date? <laughs> You go, all of our wives are black women. They're like, I love how. <laughs> I'll tell you, a dating a black woman is like, oh, so Jeff, you just gonna touch her arm? That's okay. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, okay y'all intimate? Y'all intimate now? <laughs> I swear, it'd be the little things. But, but like, Whoa. if we switch that dynamic, It'd be this. We would be what if, if we saw a dude, our wife coming out of a dude's office. He he making our wives our wives laugh. We gonna lose it there. We gonna be like, that's your man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's your boy. Exactly. Cool? You give and you give him the eye. <laughs> yeah. Yo, 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 what's I what's his name? I, what, what's the dude's name? John. It's not John. It, it, it's James. Yeah, or whatever his name is. Whatever your man's name is. You know, you know his name. Oh mm -hmm. my God. No, but that's that's such an like. Have you guys ever had friends that you worked with where you had to be in a role and your role was higher than them, and you and you guys were really good friends, mm -hmm. but the messed up part was like you had to like give them directions or train them on something. I've had to do that before. And it's mm -hmm. very uncomfortable, man. And it, it fractured our friendship yeah. in, in, in a sense because I'm, I'm sitting up here trying to give, I got promoted uh, at one of my jobs when I, uh, this is one of my first jobs when I got to New York. Mm -hmm. And my friend, I'm working with my friend and I'm just telling him, I'm like, yo, the bosses told me I got to train you in this area. And he was like, bro, I ain't taking you seriously, bro. Like, 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 what's up, you know? And I'm like, bro, like, we got to get this work done, though. Like, understand that. He was like, why you all look tight? It's just a job. I was like, yes, yeah, a job, bro. It's paying the bills, though. Yeah. Like, I'm, 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 when I'm at work, I'm zoomed in, bro. Like, I'm zoomed, I'm laser zoomed in. I'm not, like, I do joke and I do play when it's time, when time calls, but that's lunch, whatever else. But I'm zoomed in, bro. Mm -hmm. And he just, he just took everything as a joke. And I'm just like, okay. Well, if you're not trained in this area, they're going to look at me. So I'm going to train you in this area, make all the jokes you want, conversation you want, whatever. We can hang out after work. But, like, here, we got to get this stuff done, bro. They probably start looking at you like, like, man, look at He switched up. He got a little position. He switched you think up. You you're the man. You think you're the man now. Okay. Well, you think you're the boss, yeah, James? You boss now? Yeah. But the messed up part is, if we Working switch the roles... Man. If we switch roles, you will be the same way. If you, you know, got promoted, like, the thing is, like, I've I've been in that situation. So I used to be like a a, a site manager. So I had to kind of like I had to direct, or not direct. I had to manage certain projects, right? And I had people that anywhere between fifty to like a hundred people, and a lot of them, when I got promoted to that position, a lot of people that I worked with, I was cool with, and now I had to kind of manage them. And overall, for the most part, they all respected me. It was all good. Um, they actually was more receptive to what I had to say because it, to me it's always about the approach too, right? It's how you kind yeah. of approach it. But yeah, there was one or two that actually was like you could see the envy, you could see the jealousy, or they thought that all right because we were cool that they can kind of get away with stuff. And like you said, Fred, you gave that good point where it's like if something goes wrong, it falls on in your lap. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It it, 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 it it falls on your end. I remember like a great advice that I received um, was that there was one day we were all logging, I mean, we were all logging out of work, right? And what we had to do, I had to make sure people sign out. That was one of the things I had to make sure that they had to, they had to sign out, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm seeing like, you know, people coming by and they're like, yo, don't forget to sign out, sign out, sign out. And one of my men's I was cool with, but again, I'm managing this project now, right? And, you know, I gave him a pound. I was like, all right, bro, yo, I'll check you later, whatever. And my director pulled me to the side. And she said, don't do that. And I was like, why? why? Like, I was like, what's wrong with that? She was like, you never know how other people's going to perceive it. Because in their eyes, they may think because the way you greeted him compared to everybody else, that you may show him favoritism mm -hmm. and they come back at you and I'll, I'll never forget that i never yeah. never forgot that advice and i said you know what you're right because i wasn't thinking about it in that way and sure enough she was right because that's when 
there was a few people who thought that I was showing a favoritism when I really wasn't. And when it came down to them, because with these projects, you know, Fred, you've been in actually one of them where these projects can last between three or four weeks, right? We're in different parts of the country. I won't get too in depth as far as what I do, mm-hmm. but um, normally after a week or two weeks, we start to cut our staff down, right? Yeah. yeah. So we call it cuts. And so people would get cut, right? And then we'll just, so we'll go, let's say from like, let's say we have 75 people would we'll, you know, the client will act require us to knock it down 50%. So 50% of that staff that we hired are gone. They're going home. Mm-hmm. And then the third week, it goes down to, we got to cut about 25%, so forth and so forth. So when that happens, people get very competitive because obviously the longer you're staying, that's more money you're making. If you're going yeah. home early, you know, you lose like a week or two weeks, whatever, how long that project is. And that's it. And, you know, it's, it's out of our control, but people don't always see it that way. So yeah. that's why she was given that advice that you never know, because now if this person stays on yeah. and this other person goes home, they're going to think that you let that person stay only because you guys were cool. That favoritism. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that happened to me. And I remember like it became a whole big situation and I had to like, it, 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 it was, it was bad. So that was like a lesson learned, but it was that advice that was given to me that made me see that picture. Yeah, understood. Yeah. Understood. <clears throat> That's a good, which makes me transition over to our second topic. Of That's why I brought this that up. This whole thing. I love, I love how the way you brought it around, Jeff. Uh, so this is two topic Mondays. We're switching it up. So the next segment or the next part of everything is uh, the next topic we have for tonight is what is the best advice you ever got? And what's the worst advice you ever got? Uh, I'm gonna start with Anthony. Uh, so Anthony, if you want to start with Anthony, like why me, nigga? Anthony, like I wasn't even ready. What, what Anthony, Anthony is like, I'm, I'm not the kid in the class that raises his hand. Why you gotta call on me? <laughs> Anthony, like I'm, I'm over here watching Juice on my lap. <laughs> 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 Jeff know that. <laughs> Yo, and, 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 and watch the cool running. <laughs> Yeah. Ask your question, bro. Oh, so okay, so Anthony, what's the what's the best advice you've ever got, and who gave you the, that advice? Um, it was not. Uh, who gave me that advice? Um, oh, never turn a six into a nine. Your dad, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, you always say that. You never turn a. That. Six I love that into advice. A, That's really yeah. good. Um, and if anybody does not know what that means, it basically means like. Whatever you have, that's what you have. If you have a dollar, don't try to make two dollars. Don't make try to make three dollars. You only have a dollar. Um, so that is what my dad always told me that never turn a six into a nine. Um, and because I didn't understand that when I was thirteen, but when I began to start having things, and I was like trying to live, where it's like this is not me. Who am I trying to please? Um, so that's one advice. And then second advice. Um, because I was young, the church telling me to, um, marry or get engaged to an individual that I wasn't supposed to get engaged to. Mm. So, um, that's something that I think the church has to do a better job with our young people. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, you can court at a young age, but at the same time, there's things that we need as resource. Mm-hmm. That is true. Um, so, Anthony, that was the best That's and the good, worst, man. right? Yeah, correct. Okay, okay. Uh, Jeff, what about you? What's the best advice you ever got, and what's the worst advice you ever got? Um, for me, and, and yo, uh, shout out to your father, Anthony. I, I, anytime that you always mention that, don't turn to six to a nine. That stuck with me too, man. I love, love that. Um, Appreciate that, that advice, man. I, 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 I got to meet your pops one day, man. I got to meet. Um, Yo, y'all, y'all gonna be day. DJing up in the backyard. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Yo, I'm the one in school. You know what I we do? Paul. I got to. I meet love him, Paul man. more than Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> That's majority of my friends. <laughs> Hey, dude, like, I don't take it personal anymore. <laughs> oh, uh, man. The, the, the best advice that I've ever received is, is from um, one of my OGs, um, Will, and he gave me this advice. And I, I've mentioned this before. And he said that when you wake up in the morning and you lay both your feet in the ground, you're ordering, 
you already a man. So basically, he was saying that nobody has to tell you differently. You are who you are. Embrace that. Understand that society will always try, especially as black men, society will try to paint a different picture. And sometimes we'll try to subscribe to that picture. But you already, God already made you who you are. So understand and identify. There's nothing that you need to do differently. You are who you are already. So embrace it, stand on that, and, 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 and be that because that's who you are. That was one of the best advice that I ever received. Something simple, yeah. but it's very, very um, powerful because I think yeah. we sometimes forget that. Um, and the worst advice that I've ever received, so I thought about this, like when we first came up with this topic, like as far as the worst advice that I've ever received. And yeah. man, I kind of got stuck because I kept on trying to think, like what would I look as the worst advice? I don't know. Um, man, you may have to come back to me on that, man, because I, I I couldn't. I'm, I'm stuck on thinking like, what it's is okay. the worst advice? It's, it's, I've got it's some bad good. advice. I'm just trying to think of, like one that kind of sticks out though. No, it's all good. Mine is uh, professors. <laughs> yo, professors and then people, people in the hood that just be giving out randoms, random, random, random stuff that don't make no kind of sense. Uh, like, uh, I think the best advice I ever got was from my grandfather. And uh, he told me that, um, uh, always be willing to work hard for what you want. Always be willing. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, the second part of that, uh, is that a smile will go a long way. Um, and I think he, there was so many like other gems that he dropped when he was still here. And I think those two things I held on to me, I held on for dear life because I know that working hard really helped uh, get me to where I am and establish a whole lot of things for me. And and just being a black man that smiles too, like I feel like uh, it's actually allowed to break down people's defenses, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Cause a lot of times people assume, people assume that black men don't smile. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I smile at, as, even as a kid, you can look at all of my pictures. <clears throat> I smiled at every single one of them. And there was people that would tell me like, why are you smiling? Like, what's wrong with you? And I'd be like, because I'm happy. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know, you guys sad and all that. I'm like, that ain't, that ain't my life. That's yeah. Like, I don't, I'm a smile. I don't know about you. I, you can, you can frown all you want. Even, even in the midst of uh, things that are going bad, I'm not gonna, be like cheesing, cheesing, or anything like that, but I smile because I know that that God is with me. You know, um, the worst advice I ever got was, uh, it, and this is just from I got this from my peers, I got this from my uncles. Hell, I even got this from my father. Uh, <clears throat> is date as many women as you can. Um, the reason why this is, mm. this is the worst advice is because it caused me to focus on the quantity of women and not the quality of women, mm. uh, like throughout my life. So I was just out here like randomly like, okay, uh, there's another one. Let me let me see if I can get her number. Let me see if I can get her, boom, boom, boom. And I just, yeah, think, think, yeah, I just think it's a thing of, like I had nobody preaching to me like, hey, get married, you know, find a, a great woman to, to uh, to be your wife and the mother of your kids and, and a woman that knows God. I never never got that in my surroundings until I started getting older. Um, I always got that thing of like, yo, you young, you young. You need to go out here and, you know, do what you do. Do what men do. Conquer, you know, go out here and conquer. Go out here and hunt. You know, these girls is out here and they're giving you that from their experience. They're putting their their <laughs> wishes and hopes and all that stuff for you on 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 you bad that it might be uh but it taught me a whole lot because i as i got older i was just like okay i see what i see i see what this is now because like so many times i kept i'll be on dates and i'm like what am i doing <laughs> what mm -hmm. is this yeah. I, 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 i'm like why am i sitting here man like i, I ain't I, where i want to be no, like, i'm here but i ain't here you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, Fred, until I, feel... I my wife, until I got my, to my wife, of course. Like I was just like, but I always desired marriage. I always desired deeper. 
Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I never ever wanted like something all like except for like when I was going through things, yeah. like the quick things, the appetizers. Yeah. So, yeah. I think what I took from that, um, I thought it was a different a different thought that you're, 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 the people are trying. <clears throat> because what I took from it is like, yes, date, but not like you dating everybody and they mama. No, just like date. If that doesn't work, you get to know someone. Oh, you know what? I don't really like that when people do that. So that's mm -hmm. not really my thing. Like, um, right. I don't really like, I, I love her chick, but I really can't bring them home to mom. Like, mm -hmm. there's a certain type of woman I want to bring home to my mom, uh, grow with, build legacy with. Um, yeah. But in the same perspective, <laughs> if I'm at a young age, um, I will tell someone, um, not date as many, Build mm -hmm. a relationship. If you don't like that person, you respectfully yeah. transition out. Um, but don't start breaking people's heart left and right. Yeah, because think about it, Aunt. If you try Skittles for the first time, you ain't going to just eat one. <laughs> well, if you got mad Skittles, you got red, blue, so you got options. <laughs> you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Which one you want? You want Wednesday? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, Jelly ain't hearing this. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> No, but honestly, like, I think you should experience and just transition out respectfully if you yeah. don't like that individual. Yeah. I think that's no, what no, we should I, start yeah. teaching our, our teenagers of, like, because, of course, you're going to date. Of course. It's just, like, human nature. But I think it's yeah. how do you respectfully have these conversations and say, you know what? It's not really working out. And with that first sign or second or third sign, you transition out respectfully. There's no no love loss. You don't go to the next person. No. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we should begin to start teaching just human beings. But and, and, and just be Anthony, up front. This. Be, be up front when you're dating and, and know this. what, what was, each other's tensions are when you are when dating. When I was dating, there was no respect really. There was just like, you're going to see me with this other person and you deal with it. You know? Ooh! And, and it's a, that's, that's I didn't know you were that friend hey, like oh, that, That's what it was. That's when the light skin came out. I was wondering if you were going to use that pretty good. I said, that's, that's what it was. <laughs> hey, y'all know what it was in the early 2000s, you know what I'm saying, in the 90s. The, li the, the light I bended. That's what <laughs> you know? Bend. The light I, I mean, bended. Put something in your ears. <laughs> pretty brown eyes, don't you know? Man. <laughs> no, I mean, it's. It's it's a thing of just like yo, you could go to the movies one day with old shorty over here, and then and then you know you, you go options. to the you ice cream parlor with old shorty over here, and then, and then it's like that was the thing, you know. But Anthony, I love what you said because you said like teach them to respectfully yeah. transition. Yeah. Because I didn't get that. I didn't yeah. get that respectful transition. I just got date as many people as you can yeah and if you don't like them respect their time and move forward yeah. and tell them like how you feel didn't get that yeah. that that part if they would have inserted that part that would have made such a difference and i think That's uh, we jeff and i always had these type of conversation like the mentors like you can give you can give great advice you can give advice from your experience but is that a great advice like mm -hmm. you could give something, and they thought they they teaching my my young buck. Like I'm teaching my young man, and right then you actually damaging somebody. You damaging the whole environment. And God, I wanted true, to man. read. I wanted to read this comment because it's so good. Um, it it says if you date too much people, you have more of a chance of creating soul ties. In my opinion. Those are hard to get out of right. and toxic sometimes. That's a fact. But that, Very that's true. Tax plus tax. Shout out to uh, Stephanie. Blank. What's and up, shout out to Perry, like my bro would say. It's, it's, it's true. Very, and very it's true. true and then you got to think about, I think, I always think about time. Yeah. I always think about time. How much time am I invested in this? And is it going somewhere? And if I, because I remember I, I, this is before I met my wife, I dated this uh, this lady, this young lady, who I felt like, I was like, yeah, this could this could work, and I really realized in my heart that it should have been like we should have stayed friends. Yeah. But I kept pushing it. I kept pushing the envelope, and she was excited. She really wanted to be with me, and 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 I never ever really just 
said to her, yeah. like, you know what? I don't think we're we're good as yeah. a couple. I never said it. We just phased out. But you felt just, it. Yeah, some people, some people don't know how to say goodbye or how to yeah. end relationships, man. They don't know. How, they don't know how to like respectfully end that relationship or the you know the date, whatever the title is. Some people don't know how to do it, and so they just they either ghost the person or they just yeah. hopefully let it phase out because of fear or maybe they don't want to hurt the person's feelings or whatever. And I think um, just to like. on how to like if you are dating but you're not really feeling it how to respectfully let the person know you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like hey listen you know this is not what i'm looking for um this is not it because at the end of the day they're gonna respect it that person is gonna respect it that much more when you're upfront and honest with them even if it may hurt them but mm -hmm. at least you're letting them know that hey mm -hmm. this is not it because if they see you with somebody else and you did not as a whole. Let them know. Yeah. You, it, it, it's, man, listen. You, you had it for trouble, a, trouble. Yeah, yeah, you had it for trouble, man. You're putting yourself in a, in, in a, in a, in a really tough situation. Um, and it's not saying you don't have a right if you're not dating that person anymore to go move on, but it's out of respect. You know what I'm saying? It's out of yeah. respect just to let that person know. And, we're, and we're, when we're younger, you know, when we're like in our teens, early 20s, we're not often thinking like that. We're kind of just like, you know, whatever, like like Fred said, the advice that he received or the advice that Anthony said he, that he, he's heard. And I've got that same advice too, like, yo, this date, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like, like my uncle, you know, God rest his soul, my favorite uncle in the world, man, he was a wild dude. He was a really wild dude. And he was the one that would tell me, like, man, listen, go out there and, yo, know, live your life. Live your life, date as much women as you want or whatever, you know, be out there in these streets, you know, so when you and that's probably really the worst advice to, to echo what you guys are saying when i think about it or one of the worst advice that i got because he was like just live your life you only live once yolo and when you die you, you could die with a smile on your face but in the process you're hurting people during that process just like what you guys were saying that's good right because some people may value the time that they have with you and when they see and hear that your intentions was different compared to what they thought it was or what you had stated, mm -hmm. now you could have potentially damaged that person, which now that damaged person meets somebody else. And now the damage that you put in them is going to reflect on their relationship with that other person. And it becomes like this cycle. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and that's where like, I think sometimes we don't understand and we got to take some form of responsibility on when it comes to like when you are dating, like how are you treating that person? And and, and if it's not going to work out, what did you do to make sure that it was a, a, a beautiful, good transition to where now they can see somebody else without worrying, without any form of like permanent hurt that can, you know what I'm saying, that would carry on over with that next person because you decided that you didn't want to be honest with them or you decided like you didn't know how to tell like they weren't a good fit. You know what I'm saying? For you, respectfully. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, and I think that's something that, yeah, I, I agree with Anthony that we should definitely encourage uh, people to do more. I like what Black Rose me said. That's, she said that's up, not always Shanique? easy for guys to handle. I've always faced, been faced with pressure Shanique, yeah. after I try to cut things off. It's weird. So I, 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 I avoid it. Uh, she says she goes ghost guys now, um, and and you know we 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 come up in this culture where it's just like it's it's harder to tell the truth. Yeah, in in some instances because it, there's so much pressure there from the person that you are dating or you're 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 going after. There's so much pressure. It's like think about it. Like I've been on dates uh, before my wife where. A, a girl on on the first date, no lie, she mm -hmm. she was just like, yeah, I can see us going far, this, that, and the third, you know? She was like, I, I mean, we've only been dating for this, that, and the third this much time, and I love you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hit it with, with the Anthony. I hit it with the Anthony. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, but, but, 
But it don't even have to be that. You could just see red flags on your own or just mm -hmm. see things that you don't like and not want to continue it. And there could be just so much pressure from the other person. Like, what, what did I do? Like, what, what, like I am I messed up? Tell me what I can fix. Like, I really want this to work out between us. And they won't stop, yeah. you know? And I think one thing that's coming up in this conversation I'm thinking about, being okay with rejection. Um, mm. Being okay with rejection and being able to communicate when you when you have to say, you know what, this is not working out for me. And that is okay. I think that is something that we have to be able to be okay with. Um, because rejection mm -hmm. is a life. Um, and then if you keep on ghosting people, where that where does that also show up in your life? Because that can show up in work. That can show up in friendship. So that means that in you, you don't know how to have hard conversations. You keep on running mm -hmm. away from everything to the point you begin to run away from yourself. Sometimes rejection is your, is your best protection. It really is, man. It can be. It, so, sometimes it's for your protection, and people don't realize that. Sometimes, like, it's a bullet that you are dodging. Trust. And, yeah, and trust and believe. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it really, really, really is. Rejection is going to happen. We've yeah. all been rejected before, whether if it's yeah. through work, mm -hmm. not getting a job that we wanted, or yeah. promotion, relationships, yeah. especially – it happens. There's no way around it. You can't force yeah. somebody to like you. You can't force somebody to love you. You can't force anybody to do anything for you, period. It's just what it is. It's out yeah. of your control. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, like, that no yeah. is, is, is going to is open up another door yeah. that's, gonna be, yeah. that's meant for you. And I think once you understand and realize that, like, yeah. I know I had to realize that, you know, at one point in my life where there's something I really wanted really badly, and I did everything that I could to get it, and I it just didn't happen. And I took that rejection really, really tough. Mm -hmm. But I realized that rejection was for my protection. Yeah. And then it a whole another door opened up for me and ended up being ten times better than I could ever, ever yeah. expect it in in Phantom. So yeah. yeah. And when you don't run from rejection, I also think about it as this way. You evolve. Because you're like, you're realizing things are different. So it's like you're breaking off little things about you that now right. you're evolving more. And then the person that meets you, yes, mm -hmm. they're meeting someone that has been rejected. And I can be able to communicate that to you. But you're still meeting somebody that has that self-care, that love for them, themselves, that's able to articulate to you. And being mm -hmm. able to say, hey, I felt like this, but I'm still moving forward. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of things are learned from rejection because it, it's basically loss. You're learning how to dissect loss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It, and Ooh, think about it. You're going to get rejected from job. Like Jeff was talking about, you're going to get rejected from jobs. You're going to get rejected from auditions. If you're, right. if you're creative, you're going to get rejected. Uh, doors are going to close for, for homes that you yeah. want to, neighborhoods you want to live in. Doors are going to close for loans yeah. you want to get. Every day, friends friends are going to reject you. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm like, look, 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 people, re look, Peter rejected Jesus. So, <laughs> Damn. So, he did, man. I mean, and he I, had to learn from it. It's a part of life. Everything is a part. It's all, it's, and I felt led to say this because I know uh, me and Anthony were briefly talking about it. Jeff, this was at the time uh, uh, when uh, you were having a technical difficulty uh, that it's cuffing season. I was using and I wanted to phone. tell <laughs> And I, and I wanted to say that... Oh, it is cuffing season. Comparison. Wow. Comparison. I just wanted to say this to Stay all the people that are single in yeah, our village. Comparison will... Comparison <laughs> will... You advertise for yourself. Hi. <laughs> right. I, I just wanted to say comparison oh, will, <laughs> will be the biggest... Uh, it'll be the biggest thing that will get you caught up. Don't, don't rush into anything. Yeah. I, I, comparison I will mess you up because you don't know oh, what's man. on the other side of that wall. That I feel like he's about to go in. <laughs> and, you know that Instagram picture. I'm just saying because we're talking know. about dating, and I'm just like a lot of people feel like okay, I just need to be with somebody during this time because everybody's inside with somebody. Um, it's, everybody's cuddled up watching Netflix, whatever. There's there's a fantasy created. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, this is at the time where God is watering you and growing you. So take that time. Take it. 
So when yeah, you do yeah, get yeah. there, when you do get there, because I would never ever be one of them people to throw my relationship or my marriage in someone's face. We all go through things. Anthony got stories. Jeff got stories. I have stories. We all have a story to no, get I to where, how, how we got to where we are. And mar our marriages are not perfect, yeah. but we work every day to show our wives that we love them, we appreciate them, we respect them, and we may not be the greatest at it every day, but we try. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I want to add. I want to. I want to add on to the rejection part as you know. Just one more thing, like, um, because we know the word no. It's it's a tough and hard pause pill to swallow. Pause. But one <laughs> one thing that I. I um, I gave I actually gave this advice to my cousin, and I told him like, listen, don't focus on all the no's. Just focus on that one yes. Yeah. Because that 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 one yes is gonna overpower all the no's that you yeah. receive. Because all you need is just that one yes. Yeah. And that can apply to anything. That can apply yeah. with your with your career. That can apply with auditions. You know what I'm saying? You could be you know the door could be slamming in your face. And I'm sure if you listen to a lot of great actors, they could tell you like what they went through. It wasn't like they just magically got on stage and became this this really amazing actor. They probably got the door slammed in their face yeah. hundreds of times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they got a hundred no's, but it was that one yes that gave them the opportunity. And that's the same Absolutely. thing even even in dating. You could date twenty, thirty different guys and got all and got rejected. They didn't work out. You could date twenty twenty or thirty twenty or thirty different women and they all yeah. gave you a no or they didn't work out. But all it takes is that one yes. Yeah. One yes. And then next thing you know, you met your dream wife. You met your dream husband. And then there you are. And that outweighs all the no's that you receive. Absolutely. Um, and what's the biggest thing as we close, guys? What's the biggest thing y'all got from this conversation? That yeah, Jeff doesn't like to talk about Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I learned. That's you still been Anthony, awesome. you a dummy. You guys you a dummy, man. I don't, know why, I don't even know why that surprised us. You guys know where I stand with that. You do not play. Nah, yeah, he don't cut you off. <laughs> Anyways, I um, one I thing I learned you, is um, real talk. I love this conversation, and I think it was a balance of both, too. But, like, I think I, one thing I learned was the rejection part. Um, I think it because it, it really does show up in your life um if you don't deal with it um because it, it creates a narrative in your mind that no one can help you but yourself um yeah. so definitely the rejection part that's one thing i learned from this conversation you got it got it jeff what you got um for me i would say the advice that you receive um Make sure you understand the full context of the, the advice that you receive. Because mm. sometimes we could think, because sometimes we could think the good advice that we got is actually the worst advice that we got, and <laughs> vice versa. So I, I would say that's what I got from it. Like, listen to the full context of it because I, I saw how when Fred gave his example about the the advice, the worst advice he got was to date, 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 date. But Ante gave a different perspective. Yeah. And to me, what I took from that is just it's all about context on how you're looking at it as. And I think that's what it comes down to. It's like, if it's not, if the person who's giving you that advice is not really in the full context or what really what they're trying to say behind it, you can misinterpret that advice. Oh, Just thanks. like you can misinterpret a whole scripture in the Bible. We see that happen all the time. It's the same thing. Without context, you're going to be way off of what God, the message that's really being delivered to you. Absolutely. I, I would say just uh, really look at who is giving the advice as well for me. Like, look at who is giving it, like, and why, you know, who's giving it and why? And did you ask? Did you ask for advice or did they just give it? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, for years, I had just people, adults around me just giving advice. And I didn't ask for anything. We we're just having a conversation, right? Um, That's the biggest thing I, I feel like I, I got from this conversation and just, uh, and, and, and about the dating in the workplace is just like it, you know, it, it has good, it has pro, I learned from you guys, like it has pros and cons. I love what Anthony said about, uh, about church, about the church. And like, you can look at that, that as a dynamic within mm -hmm. it as well. That's you know, a good example. It, it all, it all can merge 
together in, in, in an instance. It could be good, it could be bad, you know what I'm saying? But the, we have come to the time of the night where I have to announce that tomorrow is officially a holiday. Facts. It is Top Shelf Tuesday tomorrow. And Facts. we have another episode dropping for season four. I want to go to my brother Are we giving Anthony. him more advice? Because <laughs> I know, I know he got me. I'm ready, I know baby. he got me. Anthony, make, 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 make me proud, my son. Anthony, without, what, what, can you what, tell us where we can reading, find without, without our reading. episode streaming tomorrow? <laughs> without, without, without reading what you wrote down, bro. <laughs> so I'm not going to read what I wrote down because I know it by heart. Um, so you can definitely find us at on YouTube. You can definitely find us on our website. It is streaming on our website. Duck. The top show podcast um, <laughs> <laughs> You can find us oh, on Anchor, my... Stitcher, Apple, Spotify. I'm gonna repeat this again. Come on, sometime my brother, you might think I'm saying that only one time. I'm gonna repeat it two times for my brothers in the back. Let's get it. You can find us on YouTube. Yo, please, we are going, we are doing so many things. Um, my brother does an amazing job to make sure you put it on YouTube. So leave a comment, leave share with somebody. Um, you can also we want your email. So if you go to our um, e um we call it our website dottopshelfpocket.com, leave your email. We're gonna start building an email blast so you can have be the first on our Patreon. I don't know, maybe, but also Anchor, Stitcher, Apple, and Spotify. And Google? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, great job, Anthony. Yes, Google too. He said I'm very unsure about that. Great, great job, Anthony. Great job. Thanks. Thanks. Yo, we, 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 we love to tease Anthony. We love to tease each other, man. That's what it's about, man. It's, it's, we love you. We love you guys, man. Yeah. Oh, what's yeah. your word for the week? What's your word of the week? Um, I would say... Um, my word of the week is definitely go. I, 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 that's the only thing I can think of is go. G-O? G-O. Oh. G-O. And what's yours? Uh, now, I'm going to go with Jeff first, and then we're going to go to Ant. Um, word of the week for me, I would say, is consistency. Mm. Consistency. Oh, I'm consistency. I, I love it. I love That's it. That's what sticks and, in my mind right now. Consistency. So yeah. Um, and, knowledge. And, 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 knowledge. Yeah. That's a powerful one. That's yeah, definitely like a word. Uh, Stephanie said beauty. hers is beauty. I like that. That that's a dope. That's a dope hey, thing. Oh, Stephanie, tell your mom I said what's up, man. Tell your mom I said what's up. So just know, guys, tomorrow we have another episode dropping. Make sure you tune in. We're on all streaming. Streaming platforms that our link is in the bio. And this you was a fun me. conversation too, man. You guys would have definitely want to enjoy this one, man. Definitely. Listen, listen. Uh the podcast title, the episode title is I just think it's funny how everybody got a podcast now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just like saying it. The irony. <laughs> the irony. I just think it's funny. And uh, that's Jeff why you guys up, and that's what you guys Jeff to actually that came one. up with the uh the con uh the topic um from something we seen the uh the other week. Uh, post that just Fox posted, and so it was really, really fun conversation. Had a blast. Y'all definitely don't want to miss it. It drops tomorrow. Make sure y'all get that. Make sure y'all listen, listen for real. And y'all can engage with us. DM us and let us know what y'all want us to talk about too. Like we want to hear from yeah, you man. guys, the village. Please uh, do. We we pray that everybody has a blessed rest of y'all yeah. week. Mo make sure you do. Uh, and Anthony, season is alive. <laughs> Anthony said, "Get you a big boy." He said, "One eight hundred big boy." boy. <laughs> oh boy! Anthony, no, you can't be advertising. I'm not advertising Anthony myself. Not me, but I'm just saying me. for my XXL people. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying for myself because I love my honey bunny. That I'm about to get the honey rummy. <laughs> whoa, 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 he, whoa, 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 whoa. That's 1021. That's a, that's a An bar. An Anthony said that he didn't see her all weekend, so he has to make up for it now. That's a bar. 
That's a bar. That's a, that's a candy. Excuse my hand. <laughs> Anthony, you never cease to amazing. Uh, but until next time, everybody, uh, we'll see y'all next Monday, same time. IG Live. Peace. One love.